then uh, around 15% is moderate and 11% uh, is high and 6% uh, of the total forest area is, uh, you notice that it's the uh, total forest area is very high and 4% is extremely very very prone to forest fire. So this is based on Forest Survey of India report and uh, as we see that uh, this uh, on the right hand side is the map which is showing the intensity of uh, forest fire in different parts of the country. You see that uh, on the northeastern part, the Mizoram, Mizoram is uh, 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 extremely prone to forest fire. And uh, other northern states are also uh, prone, but uh, Mizoram is uh, extremely prone to forest fire. Assam, Mizoram, Tiripura, it becomes an extremely prone uh, zone for forest fire. Andhra Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Umsa, uh, Maharashtra, Bihar, and UP, large uh, area is uh, very, very high prone for this, uh, this uh, forest fire. And uh, area highly, very highly, and extremely prone to disaster, this forest fire is around 26% of the total forest cover the country. So this is based on Forest Survey of India report, and uh, uh, it is, uh, uh, this report has been compiled uh, uh, on various incidences of forest fire which have been compiled, edited and analyzed by forest subjects. Next please. Uh, we we are some, uh, uh, recently we have some uh, major forest fires in 2019, 2020 and 2021. This uh, uh, is giving a figure that uh, world uh, level like you see the 2020. And, uh, 2020 years, uh, we have uh, more than 8,000 forest fires all over the world, and uh, it was uh, much higher in comparison to 2019. And uh, around uh, uh, 10 million acres of land were burnt in uh, 2020, uh, compared to 4.7 million in, uh, in 2019. So it is uh, just double. You can see that how this intensity is increasing. Uh, this uh, year, uh, in 2021, we have a major fire in uh, California also that was started in 2020, I think, and uh, uh, in 2021 also, around more than 800 fires are still there in uh, California. Australia has a very, very big, big fire uh, in 2019, you must have it has uh, damaged it, uh, I mean, it killed uh, so many wildlife also, that is very, very pathetic condition in Australia. Amazon uh, fire also 2019, very major fire. So this is just a global scenario of forest fire, how this forest fire has an adverse impact on uh, our climate, our wildlife, our forest, and uh, not only forest, but human beings also and uh, climate change. National level, if you see the country, we have very major fire in Himachal uh, Pradesh, uh, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Odisha, Madhya Pradesh, and Gujarat. Uttarakhand also witnessed uh, more than 1,000 fires uh, during the last six months. Simply for national parks, uh, Odisha, where uh, so much advanced uh, impact on uh, wildlife, that is also notable. And Bandhavgarh National Park uh, in Madhya Pradesh is a major fire. So this is the way you can see that how the intensity and frequency of forest fire is increasing. Of course, some 90% uh, cases we uh, think that the forest fire is uh, human induced. But now I do think and the uh, scientists also uh, support that uh, due to climate change and uh, other things also, uh, natural phenomena or other human induced phenomena with uh, intensity of uh, <laughs> day by day. At uh, this time, uh, due to pandemic also, there, there are some uh, stories that the pandemic also this time increases here because uh, we could not take care of the forest as we used to do, like the uh, cutting of forest fire lines and other city culture activities which used to be there earlier that was neglected. <laughs> in many parts of the forest. That, is also, that may also be a uh, cause of forest fire in this area. Uh, next please. Uh, 
Uh, forest fire management, uh, what major initiatives have uh, been taken, uh, particularly our top authority, you must be knowing, disaster management is National Disaster Management Authority, which is headed by our Honorable Prime Minister. So they no, are also know, taking care of forest fire and they have come out with uh, very good compilation of forest fire management. Because we can learn from the forest, forest fire management what type of uh, uh, practices are there and which really work. In NIDM also we come out with a forest fire management book is here and forest fire training module I think that is also being worked out and uh, we are having uh, uh, various courses in forest fire management in NIDM. Forest fire alert system uh, that was started in 2004 by Forest Fire India now it has been updated and uh, in 2019 there is a uh, we are using Real-time information identifying fire scopes, audits is uh, basically sensor, so based on this model and other modern techniques which uh, are being gathered and compiled. Uh, Intensive forest fire management in India is study has been carried out with the uh, support of the World Bank recently by Ministry of Environment and Fire. And uh, we have developed a national, a national plan also on forest fire. So that is uh, some, some initiatives have been taken by the so you can see the house in this with the government of India is also taking this uh, major disaster and management. Next. Uh, this is just to give you an idea that how this forest is in India because we have a very modern techniques and that was al al uh, already updated in 2019. You can see that uh, by satellite and uh, other satellites and different satellites, we have the deer gathering information on the right hand side. You can see that the satellite and how this information then comes to the Forest Survey of India uh, based in Dera Green and the from there it is uh, modeled and different Python is a type of model. So based on this model and uh, we are uh, sending this information to the state forest department up to beat level. Uh, beat is the smallest unit in the forest. Uh, uh, this is for the information of the people who are not aware of the forest uh, administration. So beat is the smallest level, uh, level of uh, forest fire management system or institutional framework. So up to that level we are sending information from Forest Survey of India about the forest fire uh, detection through this system. Uh, next one. So, but still some day gaps are there. So based on our experiences and based on different uh, secondary uh, studies from different sources and the uh, teaching of forest fire, the forest uh, department, uh, we uh, can find out that uh, there are some policy and plans and manuals they need to be updated in context of forest fire management. But we have come out with the action plan, but even then we have to be uh, more practical about the policy and plan. Because they are being used, at, uh, particularly in the field manual, that is very, very much needed. Then uh, we have institutional mechanism also needs to be efficient and the coordination mechanism should be there. Uh, you can see in my, uh, we have come out uh, with a book on uh, disaster management, uh, forest fire management. So here we have given a system that what should be the institutional framework at the division level, at the uh, state level and national level for forest fire management. That uh, local community involvement can be very important. Uh, without community involvement, we can't fight any disaster from our forest fire management. So community-based forest fire management is very, very important and we have to make people aware that this is a direct loss to these people also forest fire, so we can come and work for them. Lack emphasis on prevention. Basically, uh, we are more emphasizing on uh, uh, forest fire response, but we have to come out with uh, more in, uh, interventions or prevention, mitigation, and preparedness measures also. Mock drill is very, very important. Mock drills and uh, other yourself by forest department, we have to provide them training, exercises, scientific approach, particularly in uh, when I work with uh, forest fire management, we, uh, we find out we take some lack of. Uh, proper type of uh, instruments and proper type of uh, technology that is that is so that is very very important particularly in different areas uh, Indian forest is totally diverse type of forest if you go to the Himalaya we need different type of technology if you go to the southern part of the country if you go to the eastern part of the country so we need a different type of technology so these technologies should be area specific and 
But we very different. We very, very, very important. Early warning, of course, we have done a lot uh, by this uh, cross subject India technology, but still there are going to be so that uh, this uh, time, lead time is more so that we can get information and we can work in the field of the body to protect our forest. Capacity building, uh, uh, of course, training and awareness is important. Funding that is very, very important. We need to modernize. When I was working with the uh, forest fire division and Minister of Environment and Forest, that time we were having a helicopter, and we were having an air aeroplane also. But uh, that uh, air operation wing was that was called air operation wing, so that used to be revived because uh, there was some accident of this aeroplane, so after this is not functioning. So there is a need that uh, we should have all these uh, air operation also operational life. Next, please. Talking about the Sendai framework. Sendai is basically a place in Japan where the Sendai framework of industrial risk reduction is more than 187 countries participated in this amount of the framework. That framework is called Sendai framework for uh, disaster risk reduction. So, oh, because the uh, fire is also a disaster, forest fire is also a disaster. So we can use this Sendai framework for disaster risk reduction. Uh, forest fire they are a basically four priority areas have been identified. They are understanding disaster risk or forest fire risk, what type of risk is there, which, which part of the forest is at risk, what type of vulnerability is there, who are the main factors for risk, that is to be a Second is strengthening forest fire governance, institutional framework. Then for resilience, what type of re uh, measures we can take for forest fire resilience, that is also very important in the field of research and development, early warning system, capacity building, and preparedness, how to clear out. Because uh, preparedness is very, very important for us to spread very rapidly, uh, within no time, so we have to come out with this. Uh, four tribes in India, they are here, and they should be proper involvement of the community, of the various stakeholders, and monitoring and building on that. So based on these uh, four priority areas, first is understanding forest fire risk. Risk, you know that uh, it is basically hazard. I mean, what type of hazard is there? Hazard here is fire. Vulnerability, because our forests are vulnerable, so different type of forests are having different type of vulnerability. So that is also important. The next one. That is, uh, so these things are, these are the direct things related to the risk and if we have capacity, certainly we can do the risk. So, action force in the risk, try to India that develop forest fire database, that is very, very important. We are very, very poor database. Till now, we are not very much uh, having this information. Best thing collected from the file. This can prepare vulnerability, uh, risk map, donation map, that is also important. And uh, forest fire knowledge are and good practices. Uh, like this NDMA has come out with a good practice of course that is very good for them. So certainly this is to be needed. Only then we can make our plans based on this understanding of the risk. Next. Only three slides are there, eh? Huh? I think uh, not many. So then the second is uh, strategic forest fire management governance. Eh? So this governance is basically through the institutional framework and this is the policy plan also. So this uh, under this uh, we have to uh, meet uh, our suggestions and our recommendations in this book also we have heard earlier that the uh, forest department should have separate forest fire uh, division each state and at uh, commissionary level so uh, regional office also we should have a separate entity for this particularly in the state, which are very, very far from. Then forest officers and the uh, staff uh, should be involved in all types of disaster management activities. So they understanding the funded, uh, basic uh, uh, idea of disaster management. And they can work with that's the condition. 
Then the White Forest Fire Division, Air Operation Bill, which I, which I mentioned that earlier in the Ministry of Environment and Forest, Climate Change, we are having the Air Operation Bill. So that needs to be revised because we are having very frequent fire and the time is very, very important to monitor, to uh, give assistance, so we need to incorporate to elaborate forest fire management between the existing policy and planning documents. That is also important in our all forest fire management plans to have forest fire management uh, policy and other Excellent plan for forest fire management at state level also. National level we have developed in 2009 to 18. But at the stage at the state level also we have to make the national plan, national action, uh, which is the national plan for forest fire management. And uh, field manuals and guidelines for our field officers, particularly the guards and uh, foresters, we have developed so they can feed us from, they can do the field very, very effectively and with the support of the community. Next. Uh, for investing, if you think, uh, first of all, is research and uh, innovation, that is very, very important. We have to come out with different types of uh, instruments and different types of equipment that are suitable to the local conditions, local stakeholders, and forest development and conservation and development for the city involved. Uh, collaborations are with the uh, national and field level. Uh, we should have good collaboration with the national disaster response force, state disaster response force. They should also be changed in forest. So that is also important and our forest officers to be trained with this uh, national uh, disaster management authority, national disaster response force, community awareness of course very very important and one very appropriate thing to the NDMA also support is that we should have a training institute for forest fire management at national level. Uh, earlier we were having in the uh, Right, and we should have a good maximum level like maximum relationship of the government. So these are some uh, actions proposed under this uh, resilience building. Next and the last suggestion is next preparedness. Of course, it preparedness is very, very important. So capacity building of our forest functionary. Early warning, they can understand early warning, they can work immediately, that is very important. Then incident command system, I think you must be more important than incident command system. Immediately having the plan, forest fire development department in each state, we should have an incident command system in which we can work very quickly. So incident command system was involved in US uh, quite long back in forest fire management. So this is to be uh, uh, incorporated in our state level also and the training of force and forest officers and uh, training of uh, our NDRF and SDRF that is also very very important in our country. So these are the post that in India we discuss and they are, we have to work accordingly for this forest management and training forest fire not having only adverse impact on forest fire but whole ecology whole Next. 